Luca, Look at this epic pose! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's time to watch the final episode of Soul Leveling, Arise. I wonder if he's gonna say it in the exact same manner. That's how I have literally imagined him in the novel. Arise. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyways, we've got Jinwoo facing the army of knights, supported by the mages. He's getting really tired. He can't use any sort of potions to heal himself. Just how long can he be going on for? And he has defeated Igris. So if feels kind of unfair that he literally defeated the boss but this is not the end of his trial he's got this sh absolute swarm of knights to defeat just how long can he be going for how does he end it i'm super excited to find that out and the job change the whole job change quest what will be the final reward how many levels will he level up and just what will be his new power super excited to find that out so let's tune in and as always don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow thanks get up and Fight! But he's proper knackered. He's so tired. Of course you're not. You will never give up. Yes! Go for it! Wow. But these knights just kept coming out from those circles. So they're being summoned. <gasps> His hands! Oh my god, he's so badly wounded! You can see his bones. Oh gosh, this is his limit. Imagine the pain he must be in. What? Who's saying that? Oh my god, they didn't break his leg, did they? That's illusion. It's got to be illusion. Don't listen to them. Oh my god. <laughs> well, that's easy for you to say, illusion. Easy for her to give up, but that's not what Jin was going to do. That's himself from the past. Has the time stopped? Don't listen to your old self. You were badass in the past, but now you have exceeded your expectations. Yeah, <laughs> we kind of all struggle to recognize him, but of course it's him. Gosh, don't listen to that. Did he block the sword with his hands? No. Oh my god, that must have gone. That, how come that didn't kill him? That only shows how strong he is. Daily quest, the, the penalty. He's going to receive the penalty. He's going to get teleported to the penalty zone. Ah! <laughs> It's like the system is trying to save him. Although it could be a proper coincidence, but is it? Okay, so the centipedes in the penalty zone were extremely powerful. They all had the red title. And he has leveled up so much, so they can't be that powerful, right? Oh, I can't look at his knuckles. It's oof, so winded. He did save your life. I wonder if he can use potions in there. A potions to, you know, um, heal himself. Okay, get rid of the fatigue. You'll be good as new. Yes, it's working! So he can probably heal himself too, right? Oh no. But that's okay, because if he faces the centipede and he defeats them, he's gonna level up, and as we know, with the leveling, you restore your health and mana! Not that he needs the mana, obviously, but... <laughs> and the titles are... Orange, blue, so not that strong. He can totally crush them. And he can access the stall so he could buy some stuff to power himself up during the battle. Yes! <laughs> well, what's she dreaming about? <laughs> Give him some time. He'll make it home. I'm sure of it. There's no way he's losing. Not after this chance that he's been given by the system. Or should I say the penalty. <laughs> but it wasn't fair to begin with. He, he defeated Igris. And then straight after defeating Igris, he had to deal with the Horde of Knights. Come on. And there we go, leveling up and healing. He looks so much better now. And he killed so many of those centipedes. So he's gonna come back so much more powerful. And healed. 
Night Killer. It's like a special sort of dagger. 25 more damage! Wow, that's fantastic! He's gonna totally smash for the horde of knights now. The ruler's hand! Is he gonna use it? Is he gonna apply it? Yes. What is it gonna be like? A new skill? I can't believe he forgot to actually like apply it before. Physical manipulate objects without touching them! That is just a gift from heavens. Really, he worked hard to obtain it. Mm, I think you have to level up your scale to be able to move large objects. Okay, so I'm guessing he attached the dagger to his hand because he's scared he might lose it. Like he lost his teleportation stone before. I mean, what are the odds? He lost it twice, right? <laughs> Few hours. So if the penalty zone is for like less than four hours, but he actually defeated all of the... But no, he waited till the countdown. So he's been there for four hours. So that four hours adds up to the time he spends in the dungeon full of knights. So that could mean that the world reward will be get will be much better. Well, I should care about these guys a little bit more. I'm just got too way too excited about Jinwa's job change quest. Is that the flying ant from the Jeju Island? But the Jeju Island ants, they're not supposed to fly. I totally smashed it. <laughs> not yet, but I'm sure the real will be good. Okay, so these are the mages behind it. That's what we saw earlier on, those multiple little circles of releasing knights. I need to get rid of them. They are the source of the nightmare, man. <laughs> Nearly died because of it. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Look at this epic pose! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, my heart is trembling. Look at the pile of monsters, he just defeated all of them, it's so badass! <laughs> get them, get them, crush them! <laughs> oh dear, where did that come from? <laughs> Look at his acrobatic moves! Good plan, good plan, i give you that! <laughs> Always defeating an enemy by either going for their eyes or their head, obstructing their vision. That's Jinwa for you. Perfect. <laughs> nice. Oh wow. That's the one strong golem. Wow. Oh my god, he's so powerful, guys. Look at the pile of monsters! They just scattered everywhere! This is amazing! Oh, wow! Four hours, 29 minutes! Yes! <laughs> this is gonna power up his new class or whatever he's power he's getting. Mm. Is he gonna be assassin? Is he gonna be a school crusher? <laughs> well, totally true. Yes, that sounds like a dark mm. magic. Right? Angel of Death, Stench of Death, Valley of Death, Shadow Army. Wow. <laughs> A necromancer! Yeah! <laughs> it's one of my favorite classes, I swear. <laughs> I couldn't have imagined a better class for Jinwa. Not after what he went through. And he's not gonna be just a normal necromancer. Imagine this. Him with his assassination skills. 
he could totally fight Nexo. Whatever he summons. Yes, please just go for it. Okay, what happens if you say no? Just do it. Please just do it. Please. Well, you could have put some points into intelligence earlier on. <laughs> so you're gonna probably struggle a little bit now. <laughs> and you could totally do the same. Like create a gate and release some monsters to help you fight in the dungeons. Hmm. I wonder. The system is very cheeky with him. Although the system kind of saved him as well. If anything, imagine the surprise of the people in the future see his actual powers and the fact that he actually also fights, you know, hand on combat and stuff. <laughs> Necro leveling. <laughs> so glad he accepted. Look at that. Wow. Bonus points! Oh, yes, get in. <laughs> <laughs> and more and more! <gasps> of course, if, he's, if his HP was over 50%, that is so badass! Imagine that! That is no small feat. Any game would reward you like that. <sighs> I love the glow, the purple glow of his eyes. I truly feel the chills in my body. Overflow of shadows. Shadow monarch! Love it! This is not a regular necromancer, but a shadow monarch. That's got to mean something. He can hear the dead now. So that is a peg of becoming a shadow monarch, right? Okira! <laughs> Look at them all glowing in blue. Isn't this beautiful, absolute feast to my eyes? Amazing. And so many. Shadow storage, okay. So I'm guessing he is limited to 30. He can have 30 active shadows. Guys, what do you think about this? I think this is amazing. The mages as well. Wow. So they can have different ranks. What if he actually managed this to summon Igris' soul? That would be like having equal, if not stronger than him, fighting beside him. Although, if he summons Igris, his powers, Igris' powers could be lowered because his skills are low. That's kind of how it works in games, right? The higher your skill, the better the summon. Hell, I'm excited. I just want him to get it. Okiro, Igris! Okiro! I think it failed. She has two more chances. Well, it failed this time. You know what they say? Three times the luck. <laughs> Knowing Jin was luck, I don't know where it's gonna go. <laughs> Hmm, but Jinwa is an absolute difference. He's like totally trying to convince him. Even though he was just trying to kill him. That is really cool, Jinwa. That's a nice approach. He might just listen to you. That is so cool. Oh wow, I think he actually succeeded. Yes! And he's badass gold! <laughs> I'm so happy. Why am I so happy? I don't know, it just makes me so happy. Igrito. <laughs> So pretty. Look at his eyes. <laughs> He's lost it. <laughs> oh, so hmm. 
Jinwoo is his king now. And the knights follow the commander. That is ace. Oh my, he's so well written. Look at this excitement you flowing through his veins. <laughs> oh no, this is the end. I can't believe this is the end. Now, if this wasn't amazing, it's so well animated. And I absolutely love how well the story is written. I know that people were absolutely moaning about the episode 7.5. But give the studio some time to animate it properly. Whatever plan they had in place. And it's a bit sad that this anime has 12 episodes for the first season. But you can't blame them, you know. They got to make some money. And honestly, A1 Studio, thank you so much. You've done an amazing job. There were so many haters talking absolute bollocks about this series. But if you read the webtoon, if you read the novel, you know how well anime actually follows the story. The only thing I would say is that the webtoon had a little bit more sort of uh, funny situations going on. I think the anime is a little bit more serious, uh, perhaps because they wanted to squeeze more into the 12 episodes or maybe they just wanted to keep this more serious sort of approach. But this dark power fantasy is an absolute another level and it's just gonna keep leveling up. It's just gonna keep getting better because Jinwo won't be fighting alone now. Oh wait, what is this? So they caught that ant, an ant with wings. That's bad news because that means that these ants will keep spreading. So it's not just about getting revenge and, you know, clearing the Jeju Island, reclaiming the Jeju Island. It's actually about stopping the monsters from the Jeju Island from evolving and spreading around into another nation. So this is becoming like a multinational threat now. Oh, wow. It's not... It's these guys, there's no way they're gonna defeat those ants. They need to really come back, regroup, ask other countries for help because this has become a massive multinational threat. Anyways, back to what I was saying before. Let me know in the comments what you think about this series. Did you like the animation? Have I missed any details that were appearing in a webtoon but didn't happen in anime? I think there were some that got missed. Different his story about the Kang Taishi was mm, a bit more darker and we haven't been really shown a full of it. So if you're interested, check the webtoon out. But nevertheless, I think they have included the most important things. Sometimes I literally had to stop the anime and watch it twice to like get a full grasp of what is going on and make sure I'm not missing on details. But I just love how like this game is and that it is actual dark power fantasy. It's something we really wanted so hard to be, but it just kind of failed our expectations. And I just wish that this anime had more episodes because I absolutely love watching it and now we just have to wait do we have to wait till fall 2024 that's the kind of rumors that I got but I wouldn't be surprised if you actually had to wait a little bit longer but since I had 12 episodes perhaps we're gonna get 12 more in a few months I'm so excited thanks so much for watching with me make sure to smash the like button subscribe for my future reactions and if you'd like to see my reactions uncut in full opacity and length early released the link to my Patreon is down below Alternatively, you can become a member of my channel and get some amazing perks. Again, listen link down below, so make sure to check that out. A big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac, being a Shogun member of my Patreon and always supporting and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much to the members of my YouTube channel as well and anyone else who contributes to this channel growth. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching the video with me. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!